In this video, we're gonna get our reporting server up and running. Obviously, with a product as visible as Ops Manager is going to be, because let's face it, we're relying on it to provide us not only with up-down style monitoring, but we need to pull out performance data, availability data, and more. And we'll need some really good reporting features. Features that we'll obviously only get when we install a reporting server. So even though reports are listed as optional features in Ops Manager, in the real world, I'm gonna say it's a required feature because I guarantee you, your company will want to report on the goings on in your network. And this reporting server will be part of your deployment plan. So even though it's listed as optional, you are definitely going to deploy it in almost all cases. So we're on our SQL server here. So we're gonna go and open up Windows Explorer. And we'll go to our SCOM 2016 folder. This is where obviously I've got all the binaries extracted from the ISO. So let's run setup. There's no need by the way to open up any more firewall ports like we've done in our previous videos because when we installed our SQL Server, we already included those ports for the reporting server component. So let's click install. This time we're gonna choose only the bottom option, reporting server. We'll click next. We'll leave the default path, we'll click next. Now like with other installations, it's gonna do a prerequisites check and it's passed, we'll leave this restart, that's fine. We'll click next again. We'll accept the terms of the license agreement and choose next. And now we need to enter in the name of a management server. Now obviously in our lab, we've got two now, so we can choose either. So we'll just use the first one, that's fine. So that is cull ms01. And I hope I spelled that right. We'll click next. And the wizard will attempt to contact that anyway. So it will confirm that it can talk with that server. Obviously it can. And we can choose what SQL Server instance we'll use for our reporting services. Obviously I've only got the one here, so I have nothing else to choose. We'll just click next. Now here we'll need to enter in the details for our data reader account. One of the accounts we created in the earlier videos, of course. And that is column slash s dash scom data warehouse reader and the password and we'll click next we've seen this before the diagnostic and usage data disclaimer nothing to do but click next again we'll turn microsoft update off we'll click next and that my friends is it if we click install the report server feature is going to be installed but as with my previous videos, let's cancel this and let's do it the silent way. So we're going to go to our scripts folder where I have a script install reporting services on SQL. So let's open it up and you will note straight away that the script looks almost identical to our additional management service script we used in the previous video. So we're going to start setup.exe and we're going to pass in all of these arguments. But this time we're only going to add in the one component, which is the Ops Manager reporting component. We're going to pass in our data reader account. Obviously there's the password and the rest of the stuff you've seen before. So off to a PowerShell prompt we will go. And we'll locate our software folder. And the script we are going to run is called install reporting services on SQL. So as before, when we hit enter, the script's just gonna wait until it finds that log file folder being created. And in a moment, there it has just popped up. And in a moment, we're gonna see the OM reporting log appear and we can see that has just happened as well. And it's gonna grow in size, obviously as the feature is installed and the log's been written to. So now that the reporting server feature is being installed, if you have any open consoles on any of your other management servers or machines, you'll have to close them, probably give it a couple of minutes and the reporting option will appear. So I'll switch over to one of my management servers and you can see what I mean. All right, well, I've just switched over to one of my management servers that I've got the console active on. This is my first management server we installed. And down the bottom here on the left-hand side, you can see we don't have any reporting option. So I'm gonna close the console down. 
and let's go and reopen it. And hopefully if we've given that enough time, we'll see this reporting option appear. Now, if we click this, we'll see a few, not many reports that we can use right now. Now, obviously this is a new management group and the servers have just been installed. So there's very little to see here, but as we add agents and management packs and start capturing performance and availability data, we'll come back and we'll find this section really, really useful. So installing the reporting server is really easy as you've just seen. And again, you can do it manually or use a script. Both options will have you arrive at the same destination. So congratulations, the bulk of our SCOM infrastructure has been installed, allowing us to move on and do some more cool things. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'd like to thank you for watching.